Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. We are over 500 subscribers on the channel now and that is absolutely fantastic. Thank you to everybody out there who has subscribed and is checking out and engaging in the channel. One of the things that is so exciting about that is that I believe YouTube... Uh, there'll, there'll be like a waiting period to make sure that like we stay at 500 subscribers. But once th we go through that waiting period, it'll open up like the community tab to us, which I think I don't know if I need to reach other subscriber thresholds, but I believe that will give me the ability to communicate with you guys on YouTube and let you guys know what we're doing on the channel, what videos are coming out, when we're going to be streaming. Like, we'll be streaming uh, tonight after this video airs uh, some Brawlhalla on YouTube. Uh, me and the boys having some fun. And also, I will have the ability to ask you guys what topics you would like me to cover. Because to be perfectly honest, it's really hard for me to go to work, think about like work all day, and then come home and be like, crap, what am I supposed to cover? Because I want to cover things that I'm interested in. And you guys might have something that I'm interested in that I don't even know is a thing. And I can go, oh, yeah, hey, I can totally look into that and give my impressions on that. So because of you guys and the way that you're interacting with A Drink With Crazy, this channel is turning into something that I kind of always hoped it would be. And so without any further ado, let's introduce today's beer. Today we are drinking the uh, Toppling Goliath Camp Shandy Shore Lemon. So this is a, oh, I don't want to spill it. We'll pour that for you guys. This is a Shandy style beer. And Shandies are, for those of you who have never had a Shandy, they are like drinking lemonade. Uh, or depending on the, the flavors, a berry drink. These are like drinking like a fruit punch. And I'm going to tell you right now, on a hot summer day, they go down just a little too easily. That is a beautiful color there. It looks a little bit more orange on the camera, but it's this really nice lemonade yellow. Mmm. And it tastes exactly like lemonade. Uh, it's just not as sweet, which is fine with me because I hate super sweet stuff. But without any further ado, let's get into it. So, for those of you who are following the Ripperverse, you would know that Gabe El Tayyib, who is an ex DC colorist who worked with DC for you know many years, decided to quit DC after the abhorrent treatment that they did to Superman. Which, and he's kind of right. And when Gabe El Tayyib said, "I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I'm seeing what they're doing to Superman. I," and he did it publicly, he ended up in contact with Eric July. I don't, I believe they were in contact before that decision, before he made that decision. Um, but either way, Eric July got in touch with Gabe El Tayyib and had him come over. And so now Gabe El Tayyib is a colorist for Ripaverse and Isom number one. Gabe El Tayyib also has an Indiegogo that he has going right now for his comic to pay homage to that of the traditional values that we used to see in the Superman comic books. And these are my first impressions. His comic series is called Truth, Justice, and American Way. Again, to pay respect to the way that we used to know Superman before Superman renounced his American citizenship and decided that it was no longer Truth, Justice, and the American Way, but it was Truth, Justice, and a Better Tomorrow, which we all know to be just some namby-pamby political bullcrap. And so, I would like to give you guys my first impressions and my uh, my impressions on this. I actually tried to do this video the other day, but I was so tired. Uh, audio was messed up, mic didn't work, and I went, I, I literally looked at it and I was like, I, I just don't have the energy to do it again. But I have the energy today, so without any further ado, let's hop over to Indiegogo. All right. Truth, Justice, American Way. Action-packed, 64-page, full-color graphic novel heroes you can believe in. Now, I watched this little trailer here that he has, and this is also up on YouTube. And it says, what if the fake news canceled the world's most beloved heroes? I, that threw me off, to be perfectly honest. And I didn't know if I wanted to cover this because of that. Because here's the thing, is I believe in supporting people who put out good products that we are looking for. And I've told friends of mine who have businesses that, hey, I would really like to support you, but is your product any good? 
I don't want to support a bad product because that's the thing is you you that 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 only leads to worse and worse things. That's what's happening right now with our modern, you know, mainstream comic book lines is that people just keep saying, "Oh, these things are so great, but they're really not and it suffers." So, I was like, "Okay, the fake news, the canceled the world's beloved heroes." I'm like, "That just seems really on the nose. I I don't know if I like that. That I I just that's you know, I just don't know if that's something that I would want to get behind. And so what I did the other day to prepare is I was like, I need to learn a little bit more about Gay Bell Taib and figure out why it's so important for him to do this, right? What, truth, justice, American way, huh, on the nose much? Well, he did a video about why he left DC Comics. And it didn't really, he didn't really go after DC in it. He simply talked about his family and his family history. And he has a lot of members of his family who have fought against tyrants and tyrannical dictators through one being his father and the other being his grandfather on his mother's side. One fought in the Pacific Theater in World War II and the other fought in uh, Lebanon? No. Don't quote me on that. Libya. Libya. I'm sorry. Libya. And that was his father. And they both saw... Their friends and family die fighting tyrants. And so for him, this isn't just because he's politically active and doesn't believe in the narrative that DC Comics is selling. This is because he has seen and heard what his family has gone through. Probably heard it more than seen it. And this feels like this is a heartfelt message to those tenants and those core beliefs that his grandfather and his father and his mother and his family raised him with to believe that is something that I can get behind now whether the story will be good I don't know but let's get into what the actual story is I do like the artwork here I do I it's not the best artwork that I have ever seen and I would be lying to say that it is but it is simple it's to the point uh and it obviously is reminiscent of the big three and I, I believe their names are Truth, Justice, and American Way. I, those are the names of these heroes here. Um, but let's get into the synopsis of the story. Truth, Justice, and American Way are America's sweethearts. Adored by the young the old, <clears throat> and the old, they save the world and charm their fans with the utmost style and grace. They are regulars on the late night talk shows and making the audiences laugh and scream with delight. Kids everywhere eat their Truth, Justice, and American Way cereal while wearing the t-shirts and playing with the action figures. To say they're the world's most beloved and famous heroes is putting it lightly. Now this here I think is so fantastic because it, it, it is very reminiscent of an America that, and a lot of people are nostalgic for that America based off of all the political division that we have now. But all of us can remember a time where we had, like for me when I was a kid, it was eating like um, the Power Rangers cereal and watching Power Rangers, and I had all my Power Rangers action figures. So I literally lived that thing, right? Like the Power Rangers, that was my, I, that's actually one of the things I don't have on this wall. Like, I want to find, and I can't because they're expensive, but I would like to find an actual size, like, like Ranger helmet, the White Ranger when Tommy came back. And because Jason David Frank just does such a fan. I still will tune into the newer Power Rangers stuff here and there um, just to see how it's doing. It's not good anymore. Um, it's really not. The older stuff and some of the other seasons were better. But I relate to this. I, yes, I sat there. I watched my, my superheroes you know, on TV and ate their cereals and wore the shirts and would run around in my White Ranger Halloween costume and play with the action figures. That's something right there that it just immediately just oozes Americana, right? Just oozes Americana from it. And I, I like that they, they chose that. One day there's a devastating attack. Joy is turned into terror and many lives are lost. In the fallout from this tragedy, the news media begins to question if truth, justice, and American way may have not done all they could to prevent it. People begin asking, were there other <clears throat> times truth, justice, and American way didn't do all they could to save lives? The accusations in the media firestorm explode with shocking allegations of negligence against truth, justice, and American way, shattering public trust and destroying their image. And I think that that's a very simple storyline and that is something that I've seen played out in a few other 
uh, in a few other areas and a few other ways. And I, 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 so we're staying grounded here. Um, in most of it, it's tied into a little bit of something that could happen in the real world. Um, I, I don't know if I like the way that they uh, advertised it with the fake news media and all that. That's just a very, mm, that, that's just a little too much for me. But so far, knowing where it's coming from and knowing the heart that's in this, I think that, I, I think that this could be a very good, a very good thing. Hounded by authorities. Truth, justice, and American way go on the run. The government and military turn on them. Their friends abandon them, and the public now hates them. They have to find out the truth about the deadly attack. Who did it and why? Can they trust each other long enough to solve this mystery? Because if they don't, a much worse disaster is coming that will cost millions of lives. Seems like there's going to be a little bit of uh, spy thriller stuff in here. It seems like there's going to be a little bit of, you know, detective work, which... Um, you know, I obviously we have again. These are reminiscent of the big three. These here, these are. This is what we're looking for: superheroes that look super. I absolutely. I think her name is Truth. Her design is my favorite design. I just think it's just elegant and beautiful, and just just oozes oozes just you know, just style. So I really, I, her design is my favorite design. Justice down here, he looks a little bit more like a, you know, a Batman type character. Maybe Punisher, Batman mixed with Punisher, mixed with Judge Dredd. Uh, very much a Judge Dredd theme going on with Justice here. I mean, I, I think that's where they probably pulled the inspiration from Judge Dredd more than anything. And then obviously the, you know, American Way being the Captain America Superman hybrid. And so, hmm. Oh my goodness, Lord, I love my shandies. Mmm, shandies are so good. With all of that being said, I will be purchasing this comic. I don't know if I will be able to get my order in this week or not, but I will be purchasing this and covering this on the channel. And when the video, when when I start receiving these comics and stuff, I will do uh, reviews of them immediately. Uh, as well as immediately as I can <clears throat> and then I'm probably going to try to work in some sort of motion comic story similar to what like Comics Explained does I really like his style I highly disagree with his politics on Twitter I don't care I think his channel and how he breaks a lot of stuff down is really good again I, I disagree with him politically but I don't care his his Comics Explained just has a really great format and that's something that I would like to emulate. I don't necessarily think I'll be able to copy it like because I'm not I'm not but it, you know it, it that's where the inspiration comes from is guys like that. Um I you know and I think that this is you know we're getting some villains here. I really like this. I like that red. I really like the red here. It's just such such good designs here. Uh I think the colors could probably pop a little more but that's just me. Overall, I mean, the the artwork is very safe and very solid, I think. I mean, it's 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 on point. It's absolutely on point. And so, uh, with all of that being said, these guys are only at Gabe El Taib and his team, uh, 122,000 by 1,700 backers. I think that that number should be a lot higher if we're going to start seeing the Iron Age of Comics take off. So, <clears throat> what are your guys' thoughts on Truth, Justice, and American Way? And what do you think the story uh, uh, synopsis, uh, what, what, did, did, what do you think about that story synopsis? Sorry, I got tongue-tied there a little bit. I think that this is something that's going to be easy, simple storytelling. Uh, there's probably going to be a plot. There's probably going to be a twist. There's probably going to be, I, well, who knows? Maybe there isn't going to be a twist. Uh, I don't think I want to go back to, you know, golden age of comics where it was just, you know, the good guys were the good guys and always the good guys and never did anything questionable or wrong or morally, morally ambiguous. I don't mind the morally ambiguous stuff when it happens like once in a while. I don't like it when it just becomes the character, right? Because I hate that crap. It's no, we believe in something that doesn't mean that we don't make a misstep here and there. So I, th I think having a little bit of nuance is great, but the problem is, is nuance is so bandied about now that people don't understand when nuance in a story is good. They think, oh, if the whole story is just nuance, no, that's a crap story. If you have a character that is mostly like 
in this direction of like being honest and true and good. And they have those little bit of moments where you're like, mm, that decision's questionable. And why did you do that? And they go, I look, look, I'm not perfect. I think those are great uh, character development moments and great growth. And that's something that I would like to see from this. But I've been rambling on about this for far too long. So why don't you guys tell me down in the comments down below what you want to see from this and what your hopes are for this and if you're excited for a comic book like this because I would really love to hear it. I never thought that I would be doing a comic book channel because again, I'm not a comic book reader. I'm a comic book student. I listen to the stories and I listen to people give the breakdowns. I've never read them because I just haven't had the time but because of all of the support that I'm getting from you guys, I'm going to do my best. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel because apparently 85% of the people watching are not subscribed to the channel. That would blow this channel up. Like, literally, if half of the people not subscribed, subscribed, like, right now, that would blow this channel up to a level that I don't think I'm actually prepared to handle. Um, and, yeah, just continue the conversation, guys, and I will do my best to get to you. But... I have to get going because I've got to get a stream set up for me and the boys. And hopefully after you guys watch this video, you can check us out live on YouTube uh, doing some Brawlhalla and having some fun. So thank you so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. And I will see you all next time. Cheers. Thank you for watching A Drink With Crazy. If you liked the conversation, make sure to click here to see more.